Good evening, everybody. Come on in. It's time for dinner. It is Tuesday. We're getting ready to have Tuesday evening dinner, and I'm gonna. I got another quick one for you. I got another quick dinner for you this evening. Like I told you, I'm still cooking. Quick, smart, good, and hearty. Okay, kids, say hi. Hi. Kids. Yeah. Kids, she had. Tell me what you had. Why you got on the dress today? Because we had a hundred years old grandma day, and we have a hundred years day of school. Okay. That means it's almost over with school, mm. and then we're going to first grade. All right. Okay. So they had grandma day today, so they had to dress up like grandma. So that's why she's got on her dress. No, this is a. That was a costume. Yeah, her costume. This part of her costume. That she was had a costume little game. black dress, her beads, and she had her half in a bun. She, as you can see now, she's got it down. Uh, she took the bun out. No yeah, more bun. Yeah, because okay. my hair was long. Okay, y'all. So uh. let's get back to this meal. So we're going to go ahead and start the. Uh, put that over there. Over there on the other side for me. Thank you. We're getting ready to do a. My version of a uh, veggie dish with rice. I'm going to steam some uh, jasmine rice, and I got a variety of vegetables, and I'm going to, for the meat or the protein, is going to be shrimp. So we're going to go ahead and get these veggies into the oven. I got the oven already set on 350. I'm sorry, on 450. So as you can see, I've already chopped my veggies, and I put some non-stick on there. I'm going to go ahead and put me some... Um, olive oil on there of course and get it all nice and heated i got my rice on already so let me stir it a little bit and we're going to seal it off and just let it cook okay. you know rice only takes about 20 minutes to cook but i like to have let, let it cook long enough and then turn it off and let it rest a little while okay okay we didn't have those Hello, rice bones. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and get everything okay. spread out on and here. I have, and I... Okay, what are you trying to show? Okay, she wants y'all to see her glasses. What? Yeah, they can't see. No. Okay. I have glasses without shade. She got glasses without the lens. Aren't those cool? Okay. Thank you for that little commercial break. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get all the veggies on. I got mushrooms. These um, are the mushroom. big, um, Can I put the blackies on? Okay, what? so we get the mushrooms on. We got quite a few on here. So I got mushrooms. I got broccoli. broccoli. I got some onion. You know we have to have our onion on there. So we're just going to roast these veggies on here and then when they get all done, we're going to put our rice bowls together. And? Uh-huh. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to get everything going. There we go. Okay. And you know, of course, whenever these cook, they're going to reduce down and be a little bit smaller, not a whole lot. But we're going to get them on there, and then I'll go ahead and sprinkle them with uh, my seasonings. And I'll tell you about the seasons. We get this spread out as much as I can. I'm almost having to. I don't want to have to use two pans on here. I do not want to use two pans. Okay. So I hope you all are having a God blessed. Uh, Tuesday, I have. This has been one beautiful day. You know what? It's amazing how one part of the United States can be raining and snowing and snowing. mud slides and whatever, and the other side can be sunny and bright in the middle of winter. And it has been, I think the high today here was uh, 62. So it was quite warm here today. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. I actually got out and well, I had a couple of things that I wanted to do, so I, I went 
to the dollar, what's the dollar tree or dollar joint? Let me tell you, I had this cup. I don't know where I got that cup from, how I got it from the Dollar General, but I had one cup and I loved it. And my friend Barb says she is a China connoisseur and I asked her and she recognized it. This woman, you talk about people, somebody with China, she got the China, I'm talking about the real deal, the Port Marion factory, just about. Okay, so anyway, I'll tell y'all about that in a second. Anyway, this here is a combination of some General Trolls uh, seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric. Um, uh, I didn't put any salt in here. I guess I'm going to have to put a little bit of salt on my... I'm going to go ahead and use my sea salt, and this will be the extent of the salt pretty much. Now, the shrimp, of course, I'm going to cook them separately. Okay. on the veggies. Okay, now I've got my mixture here. Ooh, I almost lost my mixture. Got my mixture here, so what I'm gonna do is just mix it all up together. Uh, onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric, um, and some General Cho's uh, packet of General Cho's seasoning. So what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle it like so. Get it all nice and sprinkly. I won't have to use all of this. I'll have some of this to save for another time. So we just, I'm gonna just do this to make sure everything is coated and that when it cooks, we get all that good flavor. You know we all about the flavor. What? Flavor, make what? it taste good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even if you don't have the general trails or whatever, see, put your favorite seasoning on there. It will work. It'll be fine. Oh, and I put some lemon pepper. You know, that lemon pepper just push, punches and pushes it. And so when all this gets ready, it's going to go into our bowl, and we're going to have us a nice rice bowl, okay? And this is, like I say, this is one of them quick, easy It'll take about 30 minutes for these veggies to roast and 20 minutes for the rice to cook. So in 45 minutes, we can basically have this be sitting with our feet under the table with something cold to drink with a complete meal on the table, protein, the starch, uh, the veggie, everything, okay? So everything is nice and coated. And we got going to go ahead and put it into a 450-degree oven. There it goes. And we're gonna just do a little cleanup and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I think my veggies are about done. These are shrimp. I season them, put some oil on them. Now I'm gonna run them into the oven. We'll take the veggies out. Because I do believe at 450 they cook a little bit faster. I didn't account for that. So these are about as done as I need them to be, I think. Looky, looky. Okay. Same thing, I'm putting them in at 450 for a few minutes and uh, see what happens. Those are wonderful. I've tasted them. They are perfectly seasoned. So um, the rice is done. So when the shrimp gets done, we can start making our rice bowls. And I'm going to use, I've got some uh, sesame, some PF chain sesame seed uh, oil that I will be putting on top to garnish with. And I've got some, um, let me see, what else do I have? I have Grandma. a couple of other things that I can use. Grandma, can you still call you? Let me finish doing this first, right? Because I don't really know what you're talking about. And this is a sugar-free, sweet, um, Vinaigrette, so we're going to use those two. Oh, Both I of them love these. Okay. Cucumbers. I love cucumbers. Okay, so we're going to put those to the side. I love and these we'll ones. be right back. 
Okay, y'all, as you can see, I've helped my plate out of there. Let me get it and put it back over here. But I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy my meal. And before I do, I just need to uh, reiterate a couple of things. Okay, y'all, as, uh, as you can see, I've got my plate ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy. But before I do, let's just lift up a prayer for all the people that are going through the hurt. There have been so many things this year already. I am drained. From hearing um, things that have happened to people, uh, people that I love, people that I know, people that I just like, or, you know, even in the media, people. Uh, Ricky Smiles just buried his son, I believe. Uh, he funeralized him on yesterday. And so let's continue to pray for that family. You know, Ricky has been very open and candid about how he felt, what went on and all that. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, as you think about your own children, grandchildren, even uh, young folk that you know as far as what's going on in their life. And as much as we can, uh, even though I know they'll shut us out sometime and, you know, they'll say they're okay and we don't know what we're talking about. Even sometimes they get, you know, a little ugly about it. But the thing is, we must continue to pray without ceasing. And please, please, whatever you do, don't wear the blame for other people's shortcomings, even if they're your children. So, and I, because I know for a fact that nobody raises their children to do negative uh, things against themselves, the law, or whatever. But those things happen. So let's try as much as we can to, to pray and keep our, and keep each other prayed up. And when things like that are happening with people, encourage them and don't sit around and, 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 um, uh, belittle and downtread them. You know, when folk are going through, they're going through. I mean, you don't know what it feels like until you put that shoe on your foot and it gets a little bit tight. So we're going to continue to pray for Ricky Smiley's family. He's one of my favorite people in the world as far as the entertainment world. I don't know him personally, but I do know him over the years as somebody uh, that just kept me in stitches or when he was doing those characterizations in his comedy act. So keep Ricky Smiley and his family in prayer and of course those uh individuals who were involved in that recent earthquake in the church in turkey and in, in that area keep those families lifted up all um, the last number i saw was seven thousand perished but you know what um that was a word that went forth as i was listening to ricky's um funeral his son being funeralized and ricky himself he said, you know what, no matter what we go through and how rough it is, God is still in control and God is still a good God. We serve an awesome God and there's no other way to put it. We serve a mighty, mighty awesome God. And no matter how dark it looks or what we might think, we serve an awesome God and he's in control and he does love us. I know he loves us because the things that he's brought me through, I wouldn't have gotten through it without him. We have to know the whole story to understand why things have to happen. And things do happen and they'll continue to happen. But we need to know the whole story. So we need to go back. Uh, if we have to go back to Genesis, because that's where it started, back in there. It started back there. So we need to understand that story as, and see why, you know, such horrible, awful, drastic things happen to us in this life. But he gave us an option. He gives us a choice. He gives us new grace and mercy every day. So please continue still to pray without ceasing for people who are, are bereaved for uh, the young man that uh, was uh, lost his life in uh, Tennessee. That family, of course, they are still in uh, bereavement at this time. So please keep those families lifted them high. Just keep them lifted. Even your neighbors, whomever. Because we never know when we're going to get that call. I was with someone yesterday, and they got a call about someone that had uh, succumbed to uh, cancer. So we never know when those things go. I have things, you know, some family members of mine are gravely ill, and we just continue to pray and lift those people up. No matter what, God is still in control. We have to learn that. That's why we have to continue to pray without ceasing because the word of God says the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So we need those prayers. We need the, that that uh, one can chase a thousand, but two can chase ten. So continue to pray without ceasing no matter what happens. All the things that are going on in the government, 
throughout this country and, you know, all the things going on in other countries and, you know, uh, things are creeping up on us and, you know, just people backstabbing and all those kind of things. So let's just keep each other prayed up. Pray for our children in these schools uh, where they're being threatened by violence and whatever. That even happened right here in this little small town. So it happens everywhere. So we need to keep our children prayed up, keep their minds, pray for their minds and for their spirits and for their little hearts, that they do well and that they go forth and not be so affected by the negativity that goes on and even the things that are in social media for those things. So parents, just you know, pray over your children, pray with them, pray for them, teach them how to pray. Uh, so that they know how to ward off the wiles of the enemy and to know that God is an ever-present help and all we have to do is to reach out to him in spirit and truth. So thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your well wishes, your comments, and your compliments. Thank y'all for continuing to pray without ceasing. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Do something kind for somebody now. Cook yourself something good to eat. Share it with somebody. Make a few phone calls. Send a few cash apps. Send a card or two out somewhere. If you're looking for somebody in Cape Cod, Google them and find them on um, Facebook or wherever. Send them a nice card or letter or something just to boost their day. So, again, y'all, until I decide to come back again. Oh, yes, and, of course, it is still Black History Month. And we know, uh, well, tomorrow, I'm going to get back to that. I just sort of been bogged down and pushed uh, in my mind. Now, this is just me with all the, the things that are happening and, and, you know, some personal things happening. Uh, Black History Month is a beautiful, wonderful time of the year that we specifically, especially share with others outside of the African-American culture to celebrate in February. However, you know, I celebrate my ethnicity 24-7, 365. But at this time of year, we bring special attention to the uh, all the accomplishments that African Americans have made to this country because, country because based on some of the uh, inventions that I was looking at, some stuff would never have happened if it had not been for the input of certain African-Americans, and we're going to get back to those inventions uh, probably tomorrow. Prayerfully, um, things will go well tomorrow, and if not, it's still Black History Month. So, again, thank y'all for stopping by. Pray without ceasing. Love you guys. Toodles.